La 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 means no street dates. Let's see if they got any Batmobiles. It's all about the Batmobiles. Ooh, what does this guy got? That's not a Batmobile. He's got a he's got a fold away table and a Hoover. That's not what we're looking for. <laughs> Good morning, guys, at the Rivers Walmart, and look at this right here, Series 99. You got the Boogeyman. I've seen this guy wrestle in person. Gross, but good match. <laughs> Let's see who else is there. Seth, Matt, Brock, Happy, and Queen. So who do we got? Yep, here's Matt. Right there. And the queen. Very cool. What else do we got here? There's the Brock. I don't think this is the chase. The chase is in the other outfit. Brock. Happy. Yeah, there's the other Brock. So there you go. Good to see you here. Tuesday morning. Shout out to Ryan. He just messaged me. He got a uh, Cody Rhodes chase. One in 3,000. Good for him. Let's see what else we got here. You guys, it's nothing. Just real quick. It's the same. <laughs> Lando. A couple of layers. Unmatched. Not unmatched. Um, page punchers. There's the Aquaman. We've actually seen this in another Walmart. I didn't record it. Ocean Master. And then Black Mance is very dope. That would look good on the Star Wars shelf. <laughs> and Aqualad. So there we go. Another black mana back there. No flash. No flash up here. That's a good mix of everything. Got your ding dongs. And then Super Mario, just found out my granddaughter and my son, they watched uh, Super Mario the other day. Melted my heart. We watched it too. It was pretty good. Pretty good. It was a good, uh, good movie. Let me leave it in the comments. What do you guys think? Good or bad? I enjoyed it. <sighs> what the heck? Looks like they've got a few things. I don't know. Who is this? Okay, that's anyway. Solomon Grundy. Uh, oh, got some Mummy, Frankenrath, Ben Helsing. There's an April O'Neill up there. And oh, what's this? That's Logic. Look at this. Gold label Penguin? We saw the gold label black and white. Uh, Batman last time at this uh, at the Rivers Walmart. So the only one we haven't seen is a Catwoman because there's Ra's al Ghul right there. That's pretty cool, man. Gold label, Ra's al Ghul. And this is to make the uh, black and white Solomon Grundy. So yeah, so here at the Rivers Walmart. I found the gold label, so we got three of the four found here at Rivers. Very cool. Let's take a closer look at this guy. I like the black and white a heck of a lot better. What do you guys think? There's the penguin. That looks really good. It's a solid and dirty head scope. Oh, yeah. Black and white. Cool. You're at your river's target. <laughs> Walmart. I keep saying I am done collecting these, but I am pretty sure this is the chase. The box is beat to you know what. But I'll look it up. It's got the battle damage TIE fighter. You got the Razor Crest and the other 
um, first order TIE fighter and a regular TIE fighter. I'll look this one up. So this is the variant, but you know what? I'm gonna leave it for another collector and hopefully not a flipper. So put it, make them hunt for it. We'll put it right, like it's really hard to find. Put it right back there. So there you go, there you go. Leaving the variant behind. <laughs> a little dressed here. You gotta get all, <laughs> gotta get all, gotta get all dressed for this. Uh... <laughs> you gotta look professional when you do the target hunts uh, on a Wednesday afternoon after work. I got Marsha next to me, and we are about to go into the Mount Pleasant Target, see what they got. Uh, really looking to see if the Flash movie stuff is hitting our area. You saw these past couple videos that. It really hasn't, except for the action figures right there on April 15th, which was the um, the uh, the lock date or whatever you got, street date for that, April 15th. Um, looking for the Bat Cycle, Batmobile, just to capture it on camera, let you guys know that it's hitting and when it's hitting and where it's hitting and things like that. So um, hang on tight, you bad gangsters. Let's go in here and see what they got. We'll probably hit up a Walmart or two and maybe another Target. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys here in a minute. Entrance, no pets. What do you got? What'd you find? <gasps> That's what I've been looking for. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow, good Seven. cards. Yeah, that's pretty good. Because I have this figure, just not on this card, so I just need one of these. Nice. We're going to look for a good card. There you go, finally. I know you guys like whatever, but come on, man. If you collect Star Wars TVC, you gotta get it. Shamrock, AJ Styles, not the ones that everybody's looking for. Don't have anything over there? Nothing? I don't know. I, I just walked through real quick. No. Jedi, Han Luke, or Han Leia, Ewok, you got two pigs, and a Sakura. Ooh, here's another hero. I need a hero. Darth Maul. Uh, so let me know who was disappointed, who was excited, who was meh on the season finale of The Mandalorian. Din Grogu. So, excited. I was excited. Touched my heart. I love that show. I know a lot of you guys are laughing at me, but... Your opinion, my opinion. I love that show. Let's see what else we got. He-Man, Fisto, you got Belloc, Big Indy. There you go. There you go. Who's going to win in a fight? And Old Origins. Oh, yeah, there it is. Star-Lord. What is that right there? Very cool. All right, so here it is, the Guardians in Cap. Star-Lord, Drax, Mantis, Rocket, Adam Warlock. Very cool. All right, so it doesn't look like they stocked up on anything different from this point of view. Look at the new Jazzwear Street Fighter. Let's see if we can find that. Mm-hmm. There's the Triceraton. Oh, yep, in the manor. Should get that now. I'll wait. Play long games on these guys. All right. Cool. Good stuff here at Mount Pleasant Target. But I think we're going to go to another store because we're not seeing really anything that we're looking for. Black and White Robins, Mr. Freeze, Catwoman, and Alfred, and the Riddler. Black and White Riddler, I think we got him. What? Let me see the 659. Really? Yes. Decisions now. Well, we'll think about it. We've got shoe issues. <laughs> All right, so this is what number three target. 
Target two. Target two. Walmart one. Wednesday night. Let's see what they got. Bananas. Anibo. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Patrick's starfish. Hmm? Patrick's starfish. Come here. Down there. No. Oh, look. There's a, there's a guy. Oh, radioactive. See, I, I don't have a black and white Riddler. And I'm probably, I don't know. Drax T, you got that? You should see how much shadow. Well, she just, she's new, but you're right. So we did notice some inventory tags. So you could probably see it's going to be nice and neat. And uh, freshen up the shelves. Make sure everything's where it's supposed to be for inventory. So it should be looking good. Got, uh, yeah, I'm over here messing things up. Hey. We are looking for the accessory pack. Okay, there's the Tiny Toons Killer Clowns. We are looking for the accessory pack for... Zack, Jack, Dan, and some of our other buds. You can't find it up there in the Charlotte area. So, and we haven't seen it down here in Charleston area. So what do we do? We help each other out, right? Mm -hmm. Nice little Star Wars end camp. Oh, turn, oh yeah, grab that. <laughs> All right. Hey, this is new. That's gotta be now. I don't remember seeing the Dalabasala. Da Diablo Satoris. Diablo Taurus. <laughs> don't make fun of me. <laughs> Groot. <laughs> Everything looks good. It's all nice and neat. Ooh, Sam. Oh, there's a Hogan, AJ Styles. No Razor Ramon. Oye, Chico. Two indoor bunkers. No Chase, some Dangerously, some Hogan, some AJ, some new Demon Slayer. Wow, that, oh, hey, look at this. That looks good. I don't know what she's doing. She's playing a harmonica. <laughs> Isn't that a harmonica? Look at that. Play a tune. Very cool. And then you got this guy over here. Looks like he's working with the Shaolin monks. Very cool. And then this B-boy over here. Very cool, Demon Slayer. But AJ in the house. Hogan. Um, Cena. Cena Lashley wave. And Rousey. And then like I said, you got two bunkers. Let's see what this Motu looks like. Yeah. Older Waves and He-Man. Too bad. Some Power Rangers. We got Arnold still over here in the wrong spot. G.I. Joe, we got an Imperial Officer. We got a little mini Deathstroke next to a mini Joker. You got a big Frankenstein next to a big Mongol. Here in the time machine. Go ahead and try me. Look at that. No, I didn't yeah. see that. So, oh, they're all the same though. They're all twenty ninety nine. Huh? So look at that. Does that look like Samantha Larusso from Cobra Kai? Mm -hmm. no. no. But look what else they just put out. Boom. Wow. Oh, did she just put them out? I guess so. They weren't here a minute ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's in the Spin Master. Batwing Batman. So, oh, there's two of them. So these are hit. That's for sure. So King Tut. Where? Who lives? <laughs> oh yeah, they. Oh, this is an awesome set. Got that with my Mr. Miyagi. Predator. Oh, I opened up the Predator finally. Yeah. Man, uh, it's my first of many. <laughs> first of many. So that's a rest. Tuts. Three tuts, two tuts, tut, tut, tut. And there you go. Oh, is it, this is the new one. That's uh, what's his name? Oh, yeah. I forgot his name. Oh, that one. Star Lord. 
Oh, so this is, this is Dustin. A little Dustin action. Got two of them. Two Dustins. Pass. Here's Rocket. Oh, this box is jacked up. Let's put them over there. And some three and three quarter Indies. Tote. And um, Belloc, Rene Belloc. Looks like someone was looking at these over here. Go ahead and put these back. No new origins. Um, that's a throwback. I don't remember seeing that here last time. Some JP, Jurassic Park. Three pack, Sun Man's still down there. That should be our clearance. Some Super Mario. So Marsha was saying we need to get this for the granddaughter because she did see the movie and she really loved it. So possibly just uh, kind of 50 bucks. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we probably will. Paul, Paul, probably will. And neck over here, some Slash. Some Man Rays. We got Ash. Melmac Alf. And some Predators. And Andra. Okay. And there's your half pipe. We got two Ecto ones, three Ecto ones. You got the Bandit. I actually watched the Bandit the other day. What a show. What a movie. What a time. Him and the snowman. And little frog. Some monster trucks. What do you want to get her? Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. You know what? I probably have a uh, Bowser character card in the house somewhere. I know, but that's cool because it's like actual Bowser. We're going to do that. Do that. For $50, Hey, it's our granddaughter. I know. Yeah, because it's got them all. That's right. It's a com we're going to make her a completion. Completionist. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, oh these look good. What do yeah. we got up here? Yeah, Did you see Ad anything? Add at some TIE Fighters. AT, AT. Yeah, well, I mean, I say at at because I'm older than most of you guys watching. And then uh, I can't say that. There's at at back there. TIE Fighters, Falcon, and the X Wing. So, good stuff. Ooh, how many times do you live? Just twice. Look at that. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Rock'em Sock'em. You, you showed this to me earlier, right? Yeah, that's cool. Rock'em Sock'em. Who comes with that? Barbie. Got the Hot Wheels van. Come on, focus. Uh, super van. Quick delivery. And a Volkswagen panel van. So there's your Rugrats. I don't think we have any Rugrats character cars, do we? No. Oh, no, I think we do. I got to go through my inventory. I got so many Hot Wheel cars. It's ridiculous. Hot Wheel character cars. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Mm, that's the, their van. That's, yes, that's their van. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs>
the Platinum Edition one. It's a regular one. I like that figure. Though. That's cool. Okay. Well, that is the wrong label. Okay. That is Venom. Stand by Venom. What'd you find? You were here, pallet diving. Is this what you were looking for? The color change? <laughs> oh, Crimson Guard, Dusty. Crimson Guard. Another Crimson Guard. And you got a Dusty? Yeah. Cool, man. Yep, probably gonna <laughs> grab Crimson Guard. A second. Cool. Good finds this morning, guys. This is how the true collectors work and help the community. Chris and I are over here finding the new Joes, and there's two of them. And he's going to leave one for another guy. I'm going to leave another one because we're good like that. We're going to leave this for somebody else. We're not going to flip these, right? There ain't no reason. You're going to see these everywhere. So, see? Go ahead and take it back. Actually, I'm going to take a picture first, then I'll take them back. <laughs> okay, so we'll grab the two. Ah, good deed of the day. There's Gung Ho. The, the uh, huh. vampire Batman, you think you got Yeah, I got one. I, I got him when I first, first released. So, $9 for the vampire bat. Not bad. And our wonderful associate said that they are dropping a lot of stuff because of another reset so let's go ahead and put because i don't know where these are going so we'll go ahead and put dusty and our other crimson guard back in the box you know what? i only need two of those and i'm running out of shelf space so bye let's go ahead and finish this up it looks really good out here we got a wardlow from AEW. Uh, Walmart exclusive. I already looked through the uh, Star Wars. It's still the same. It's all right, though. Good stuff. I think it's up there because of the price, and I'm sure you guys would all agree about that. Um, no new Marvel Legends yet. I haven't seen the carded figures here as far as the uh, Amazing Spider-Man or the, um, the new Miles movie, the animated. So those should be hitting soon. And then... You got these guys out here, and then you got the whole setup, some basics, and the other Transformers down here. Look kind of cheap to me. Let me know what you guys think. So, new pop of the day is the Flash, and he's throwing babies. <laughs> Chris, why, why, is the, why is Barry Allen throwing babies? That's not cool, man. <laughs> and they made a pop pop scene out of it. Um, I guess we're going to have to find out in the movie. See uh, see what this is about. So let me know if you guys are looking for this because I know I'm not. All right, guys. See? Look. Nothing in my hands. Just me and my shoes. Leaving the Walmart with no Crimson Guards. I really wanted to get them because they look really good. But we passed on it, so... Good hanging out with my boy Chris, talking toys, talking hunting. So we're one Walmart, gonna go see what the other Walmart has before work. Owner of a Lonely Heart. If any of you guys have seen the movie with Jennifer Aniston, Baba Ganoush, Vince Vaughn, uh, The Breakup, and the scene with the Tone Rangers, Owner of a Lonely Heart. Owner of a lonely heart when you're out there hunting for toys and you're just lonely because they're not out there. I'm kidding. Today was a good day. 
uh, ran into our boy Chris out there at the Goose Creek Walmart. Uh, he said, hey, man, look, uh, pallet diving and some uh, boxed G.I. Joe classifieds, Dusty, Zorana, and the Crimson Guard Wave. Uh, he said the Zoranas were already picked up. He needed a Dusty, grabbed him a Dusty. I saw the Crimson Guard, and I said, I want to get some more Crimson Guard. They look great. That color, uh, Crimson, uh, just really, really looks good. I have the two. I took a picture with those two in the uh, Tomax and Zaymont and one of my Crimson Bats, and I was like, man, that's just a, that's a nice little grouping of bad guys. I don't, I do want more. I don't need more. And we left them for another collector because that's the right thing to do. You know, if you could afford it and you got room for it and you want to army build a little bit, do your thing. Not going to hate, especially because it is popping up. It's not like one of those things that's like, it's not like going for $33,000 on eBay. So uh, we left it for the next collector and um, saw the new transformer set up. And I guys, I honestly brushed through it real quick because I I don't want to film it. I mean, I, I love transformers. I mean, I grew up on transformers just like many of you guys, but man, I think they, I think my granddaughter's basic figures from the Disney shows and cartoons like Bluey and, you know, Raya and even Frozen. I hate, I hate saying that, but some of those figures look better than some of the Transformers. I'm just being honest. You know, you can, you can call me a, a hater. You could call me this. I, it doesn't look like Transformers to me. It looks like basic toys that's probably it for this video guys the next time you see me will be in the room for a huge we're talking gigantic pickup mail call um from target and a couple figures that we did pick up this week so stay tuned for the what's in the trunk portion what's up muchachos welcome back for the what's in the trunk portion of this week's hunt video thank you so much for all the continued support if you made it this far into the video don't forget to hit that like button it definitely helps get that video into that youtube i just did a wave algorithm whatever you want to call it with your comments and of course if you're new to the channel and you want to see what else we can get into jb's toy trunk hit that subscribe button with that bell notification so you know the next time I drop another hunt video or even a figure review. I did skip on a couple figure reviews that I kind of said I was going to do. It's been really busy, but I have a few things in works that, um, again, I'm going to try to add to the channel. So let me know in the comments, what do you guys really like, um, you know, to see not just in my, on, on our channel, excuse me, not just on our channel, but on other channels do you like to watch? Uh, big box do you like to do comic stores do you like to do shows do you like action figure reviews do you like commentary do you guys like news we're just trying to get that feeler out there also on our live streams the live streams that you know i've been so lucky to be invited to uh i'm talking about on man cave's channel um what do you guys as far as topics of discussion we do have a scheduled live stream here in the next couple weeks and it's always nice to hear from you guys and see what you guys want us to talk about and of course with you participating in the chat. It's always um, it's always fun. It's always a great time. So without further babbling and further, I, I don't know what's the word, adieu. I don't know how to say it. Let's go ahead and talk about the things that we found in this week's hunt and the few things that we did pick up in store. I want to go ahead and start off and show you something that you didn't see on film is because Marsha, the, the huntress that she is, she was out shopping one day. And of course, when you're shopping, you go look and see what you could find. She found the cover girl. She is number 59 in the series and Courtney cover girl Krieger. Yeah, I never knew her last name or her first name. We just knew her as cover girl. Now let's go ahead and open this up real quick. <gasps> what? <laughs> It's an enclosed box, so I could actually do like a haul portion and show you the box and not wait to bust her out. So there she is. 
I didn't take any pictures yet for the Instagram, the IG. And if you're not following me on Instagram, if you want to, just look for JB's Toy Trunk. Link in the description below and follow me. I try to do simple toy photography of the things that I pick up. And sometimes if it's like a hot item, I'll uh, put a picture up there and say where it's at, especially for you local peeps. Another pickup, something that um, I know a lot of you guys are going to beat me up, especially the, I guess you could say, Star Wars fans, but not the super diehard Star Wars fans. I don't know if there's such a thing when you're paying a, a Boba Fett tax. I do believe in it as far as it's real, but I don't like paying it. Star Wars Vintage Collection on the Star Wars card, Boba Fett. Whoa. <laughs> VC275, you can see it right there, and if you didn't know, that's on the back. We got most of those figures, let me see here, uh, Cassian Andor and Vel and Cal Kestis. Those are the three that we are still going to wait and play super long game on those guys to pick up, so had to pick him up. Pretty decent card. It is the thicker card stock, not the super thick cardboard like we had as kids. But it's definitely better than what's been before. So over on the peg wall with my other carded Boba Fetts, this guy will be. Let's go ahead and just jump right into this mail call. This one is from Mattel Creations. So not going to edit this portion. Good bubble wrap and there he is he-man that's right i got me a he-man from mattel creations or did i <laughs> that's a blade razor blade gary and the razor blade oh man here we go Here we go. Look at that dude right there. Oh, so he is on the regular card, meaning he's not on the, um, some of the Mattel creations had the, like the slip back with the plastic over and you could just slip the card out and not have to. But since I have to take him off card, I will have to cut cut him off or just rip it off it is unpunched right there but here he is he's skeletor and um i know a lot of you guys are like dude it's a he-man painted teal blue like a faker different color wig repaint 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 but come on look at all of the he-man line from the vintage to now the origins it's they're the same figure just different color and a different you know, accessory and different gauntlets. It's they're all the same style figure, but man, this is a dope card back. Look at that. I don't know the storyline too much. He Skeletor, most powerful Keldor in the multiverse. So there you go. Most powerful Keldor. It says new for 23. I know we have an issue with the origins hitting our stores. Um is this going to even get attempted to go out? Because as of right now, it's Mattel Creations exclusive. So I, I don't know. We'll see. But definitely glad to add him to the to the small Motu collection that we got. For the last mail call, we are going back to 1989. The Batmobile from Flash, the Flash movie. Here you go, guys. 22 inches or 60 centimeters for those of you guys using the metric. This Joker is huge. And yeah, Tar I got this from Target. Target actually pulled through. Target delivered a damaged box. So that means I have to take them out of the box, right? Not like I was going to keep them in box anyways. But here's the back of it. There's a lot of reviews out there, so there's really no need for us to do a review here. But if you want me to, let me know. Because I still have to do the review on the Keaton figures. So I might just do a kind of like an 89 Batman combo review but there you go that's the box let's open her up rip this open rip it open yeah i already took them out guys it's empty where'd it go 
I already took it out. And if you, again, if you follow me on Instagram, you can see that I already posed him. I tried to fit the Beast Kingdom Joker in here. Um, it's a eight and a half, nine inch figure. It didn't fit, but here is the Batmobile all in its glory. Yes, it does have a non-standard or doesn't have a black canopy. It is like a, um, like a dark gray. I would just like on a color on my color, uh, Crayola 64 spectrum, I would say dark gray, but, um, you've seen the reviews, you get the left and the right thin and it's marked with an L and R and you just carefully snap it into place. Rubber wheels that do spin. Unlike other vehicles out there that don't spin. McFarland's vehicles are pretty awesome. Um, it's got its intake right up here. Most people are complaining about the light, uh, the lenses up front. I'm probably one of those guys too. Uh, I don't think I'm going to paint it with anything. I'm just going to leave it standard as is. But um, it's kind of, yeah, it is what it is. And this is the great part where we get to do like the old movies where they do voiceovers and just say, what's this guy saying? Words, words, words. But basically, guys, thanks for watching the video. It was a fun hunt this week with uh, Marsha and I getting out there. Um, this upcoming week's going to be kind of short, so I don't know what we're really looking for, but we're going to try to get another video and probably another get that Batman 89 review out there. And this is where I'm thanking you guys for all the support. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like button. Make sure you're putting those comments in there. Please put some funny comments in there. And also uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and share it with your friends. Always enjoy the ride in life, guys. That's what it's all about. We're, we're doing nostalgic things with uh, awesome toys and with an awesome community. You guys have a great weekend. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you guys on the next video. And this is where I say hang loose and peace. Peace out, guys.